Welcome back to GearWire.com. I'm Bill Holland, and we are live in New York at the 2007 Fall AES Convention. I'm here with Greg Ando from Steinberg, and we're going to be looking at Nuendo. Uh, thanks, Greg, for joining me. What do we have going on here? Uh, we had a brand new Nuendo 4, which we're debuting at the show, which is going to be uh, a lot of great new features. One of the great things is going to be the automation capabilities. Uh, so we incorporated a whole new automation panel. So if I wanted to come over here, uh, I could open up my channel here. Now, what's kind of cool about this is there's a lot of things that, you know, were like one or two mouse clicks or four or five mouse clicks we want to reduce and make it much faster and easier to work with. So as soon as I enable writing of automation, the read is automatically turned on. So we're going to have different automation modes, and I can have different automation modes actually for each track. So if I want one mode to be, one track to be in touch, one to be in crossover, one to be in trim. Each track can have its own independent automation mode, or it could act on a global automation mode found in the panel here. So if I wanted to write some automation, I could just go to my channel, and one of the cool things is we have this option of virgin territory. So if I want to come here, as I start writing the automation, it doesn't write any data before or after. As soon as I let go of the mouse, it'll automatically stop writing my automation. Now if I want to fill the gaps, between those, all I'd have to do is just simply come here and enable the gaps, and as I come here, I can now write data before and after automatically. So now I have an automation event there to kind of start off. Uh, now, some of the other modes I could do is if I wanted to come over here, I could also have a to end. So if I'm in the middle of a project, I could come just simply right here and just say, okay, that's where I want the automation level, and now it'll write that automation value to the end of the project for me. And I could also have the opposite. So if I want to do a two start, so again, if I'm middle and say, oh, I haven't gotten to this track yet, I could just say, okay, write that value, and it'll write that value to the start of the track. Now, we also can set our range here, which will be kind of our in and out points. And I could have this also work solely within the loop itself. So if I wanted to just have that, it'll now just work and set the automation data only in that loop. But if I double click, I could actually lock and keep that value permanently on and affix to it. So if I want to come here, I can now just say, okay, I want that to go in the loop and to the end as well. So I can combine multiple elements. Um, now one of the cool things also is a unique preview mode. So once I enable preview, I can almost just simply come over here and take a snapshot of multiple parameters. So if I wanted to come here, I could just say, okay, I want to have my snapshot here of my different parameters. And then what I could do is at any point I could then just simply punch in those values so I could take multiple elements at one time and write the automation to it. And also very handy where I could suspend reading and writing of different elements. So if I want to go into my mixer and just have the automation write only my mixer, my volume and panning data, but not and when I adjust the EQ, I could have that those values not be written, or I could suspend reading of those parameters, or also just show and filter out my different parameters. So you can see with the unique automation found in Nuendo 4.1, it's really geared towards the person doing an elaborate mix or the post-production professional. Great. Well, if you're looking for a way to uh, mix and post or to do just audio production, Nuendo obviously has always been a standard in the industry, but um, this new version seems to be really cool with some of the added features. Thanks again, Greg. I appreciate it. You're welcome. I'm Bill Holland for GearWire.com. We will be back with more from New York at the AES 2007 Fall Convention.